Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Wednesday, the 10th of July. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather kind of moist and muggy. We'll deal with a few short, uh, showers and storms around today and tomorrow. However, the weather looks drier by the end of the week. And what about the system down in the Caribbean? Let's take a look out the window this morning. These are some of the Skycam images captured at the insane hour of 5 a.m. That's the uh, Tuscaloosa Skycam, and uh, I don't see anybody out there. Most people have good sense, and they're sleeping at this hour of the day. There's the Coleman Sky Cam. Hey, a little foggy there at uh, Highway 278 east of downtown. But no fog in Fayette. There's the uh, big picture, pretty typical summer look. The core of the westerlies up on the Canadian border, the core of the heat ridge west of Alabama. We're just kind of left in a moist environment with uh, light and variable winds aloft and a Little Tutlow, tropical upper tropospheric trough that's down at South Florida that's drifting west. There's a watch warning map. Got a few pockets of uh, flood issues over the eastern U.S. with flash flood watches. Heat advisory around Tulsa, but that's about it. Could see some severe storms later today on a surface boundary dropping south. That uh, risk running from near Little Rock up to about Buffalo. Also a slight risk over the western high plains. And then tomorrow, there's no formal risk here, but we do have the 5% probabilities over much of Alabama. And again, that's with the surface front interacting with this moist, unstable air mass. This is the rain for the next seven days. And this is kind of a hard traffic to draw, uh, draw because the tropics are involved. And I uh, got kind of a wild card with, with Chantal. It's struggling this morning. And will it survive? And if it survives, who gets the most rain? Uh, this will probably change, but this is showing the bigger rains over southeast Alabama between now and Wednesday morning of next week. Tropics, the only uh, game in town is Chantal and the Caribbean, and man, it just looks sick this morning. Although in the last uh, hour, some convection has blown up around the center of the system, uh, but the last couple of uh, Hurricane Hunter flights, they've not found a closed circulation down there. Basically, this thing is an open wave. The NHC guys are hanging on to it uh, for some reason. We'll see if it can make a comeback, but now it's got to fight, you know, Hispaniola. Um, here's a look at modeling on this, and the models have shifted to the left, clearly. Uh, and, and again, it's, it's really hard to find a center, so it's hard to initialize the models. But now most of them take it really south of the Dominican Republic and Haiti. They take it kind of over Cuba, and then some bring it in the Gulf, some bring it up on the east coast of Florida. Here's the uh, ensemble look. Uh, they're still on the Atlantic coast of Florida, then curving back to the west and the Georgia and Alabama for the most part. But again, uh, you know, I'm just not so, so sure this thing will be intact as a tropical storm. And if it is, this is the official Hurricane Center track. They've adjusted to the left. They got it kind of running up the uh, east coast of Florida. It's a depression. I actually try and bring it to a tropical storm near Jacksonville, then moving into Georgia. But Again, a lot of this is up in the air one way or the other. Wave, depression, storm, rain will be the big issue. Let's look at modeling. This is the GFS, the OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock local time this afternoon. 594 heat bubble off to the west. The uh, Tutlow is down over South Florida. Now below that, kind of a moist environment. We'll expect showers and storms to fire up this afternoon. Could be pretty numerous uh, this is the high-res NAM. This is 8 o'clock tonight, about the time the sun goes down, showing a lot of showers and storms around. So uh, we could see some fairly active convection this afternoon and tonight. This is tomorrow at 1 o'clock, same deal. that The surface boundary, you can kind of pick that thing out up around Interstate 40 in Nashville. It'll be dropping south, and again, uh, showers should be fairly numerous tomorrow. So uh, today and tomorrow, scattered to numerous showers and storms, but on Friday... Yeah, it looks drier, and there might be a shower somewhere. We, you know, we got a 20% chance in there, but they should be pretty widely spaced. A pretty good chunk of the state Friday could be dry. All right, weekend fans, let's take a look. This is Saturday. We'll go back to the upper levels. This is at 500 millibars. The uh, tut load down in the Gulf is pretty far south. The, every run has kind of shunted this thing farther to the south. 
Upper high is over the nation's midsection and down below that. Uh, day should be pretty dry here. Uh, any shower should be very widely spaced. Go to Sunday. Pretty much the same deal. Maybe the moisture a tad deeper, maybe a storm in spots, but uh, nothing out of the ordinary. So this weekend, definitely brighter than last weekend. We'll put it that way. And you know maybe evidence of Chantal somewhere down there around Fort Myers or Tampa Bay. Uh, this is Monday. Looks like pretty typical summer weather. And we're going to go with climatology. I'll just tell you now for the first half of next week, with lack of anything else and with no skill in handling Chantal and the fact that it might just fizzle out, we'll go with typical summer weather. Partly sunny, scattered afternoon storms. Uh, This is Tuesday, although the moisture looks deeper Tuesday. And again, that could be the result of Chantal coming in from the east. And here's Wednesday, and the moisture thins out again. But it's just no skill in trying to identify one day over the other at this point. We Yes, as we get closer, but not for now. In highs early next week, probably upper 80s to near 90. And that's below average. We'll check the end of the forecast, July 25th. I like the look of that. That's a bad-looking heat bubble. That's a, what, uh, that's almost a 6,000-meter ring out there over Salt Lake City. I mean, that is bad heat. Uh, if this is right, but a nice cool trough over the east and a surface boundary, and that would suggest temperatures below average and probably rain chances above average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can't catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.